You can get business credit with bad personal credit. I'm talking everybody who's between a 300 to a 670 credit score. You might have bad credit because you never cleaned up and rebuilt your personal credit before jumping into business. But if you have a solid business or even business partners, which we'll get into soon, then you can still get funded. And you might have bad credit because you max out your personal credit cards to launch and scale your business up. Again, you can still qualify for funding. So if you're a barbershop owner and trying to get into luxury grooming and you need to buy new tools and equipment, then you can finally do that. Or if you're a flooring company and you wanna buy more material in bulk and get cheaper prices, then you can do that too. Or maybe you do contracting and you wanna be able to take on more jobs at the same time by hiring a few more skilled workers, then you can have the additional working capital to take on those jobs too. And I'll show you how you can instantly get approved for a $500 business card with no credit check at all. How you can qualify for the same business credit card that I was approved for just last month, which gave me a $21,000 limit and $1,000 in bonus cash back within three weeks of opening the card. And and another business credit card that comes with a limit up to $100,000 that lets you turn that entire limit into cash and send it directly to your business checking account. So you can use the cash for anything you want. Plus three things you can do right now that you have full control over to increase your chances of approval when it comes to large business loans and business lines of credit. The easiest way for someone with a new business to get business credit with terrible personal credit is by using the NAV Prime card. They'll even issue you a virtual card for like $500 instantly when you sign up. There's no credit check, so even if you have a 450 credit score, you can still qualify. There's no personal guarantee, so there's no chance of you being held responsible for outstanding debt payments. There's no minimum revenue requirement, so even if your business makes no money or even loses money, you can still qualify. There's no security deposit as well, so you don't have to set aside hundreds of dollars just to start using the card. Plus, NAV Prime helps the average business increase their business credit scores by up to 50% in the first three months. This is a credit building bundle that includes the NAV Prime card, detailed business credit reports, and NAV business checking account, which costs $49 per month altogether. So what happens is you'll use the NAV Prime card for business purchases, and then the next day that amount of the purchase will come out of your business checking account. It really functions like a charge card more than anything else. The great thing is NAV reports two trade lines to the Small Business Financial Exchange monthly, which gets distributed to the big three business credit bureaus. That includes your payment history on the NAV Prime card and the monthly cost of the credit building bundle itself. Now, I know it's more of a daily charge card than a line of credit with tens of thousands of dollars on it. And we'll get into some of those options that do offer high limits in a second. But this does let you get your foot in the door and build business credit for future plans like entering a new lease agreement, getting approved for SBA loans, getting insurance coverage, or getting approved for government contracts. An extensive business credit history is going to be preferred when it comes to all of these things. Recently, I had to shut down my business in New York and reestablish that same business in North Carolina when I moved down south about two months ago. And NAV is already reporting that new business trait line to the business credit bureaus. Now, to sign up for the NAV Prime card and improve your business credit score by 50% in the first three months, hit the link below. Now, when you have bad credit, and no business revenue, then there's truly no way to get your business funded. In that situation, you can find someone else like a friend or family member to be your business partner and then they can apply for the business credit card and then add you on as an authorized user. When you become an authorized user of a credit card, you get your own copy of that card and now you have access to the money for anything business related. So you can use the card if you need to fuel up your van or truck to make deliveries. If you need to buy a riding lawnmower for your landscaping company, you can swipe the card at Home Depot for that too. And if you have to pay a contractor that doesn't take credit cards, then you can even use a service like Melio. With Melio, you can pay that contractor with your business credit card, and then they receive a payment as a check or ACH bank transfer. Melio is completely free to sign up for, and you can use it to get paid and make business payments using whichever payment method that works for each business. Now, the business credit card that I'm really enjoying and using the most right now is 
is the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card. I got approved for this card about two months ago with a $21,000 limit. I earned $1,000 within the first three weeks of using the card between meeting the minimum spend to qualify for the $900 signup bonus and then earning about $100 on my spending since that earns 1.5% cash back on every purchase, including tax payments. Since this is a no doc and stated income business card, you can make a generous estimate as to how much you think your business could make in the first year. The majority of the time, no proof is needed to back up those claims. So even if this potential business is just an idea in your head you've been throwing around, you can still get that idea funded to make it a reality. Another good thing is you don't have to establish an LLC before applying. So that means anybody is eligible to apply without paying hundreds of dollars to formally file paperwork and start the company. Essentially, everybody is eligible for this card. You also get 0% interest on purchases for 12 months from account opening. This is like getting a $900 grant that you don't even have to pay back to start your business and then getting a friends and family loan where you don't have to pay interest for a year either. And from my experience, you'll need a good to excellent credit score and a fundable credit profile. That's important. And to get in the door with most business credit card companies, especially Chase, you'll wanna have other personal bank issued credit cards reporting $5,000 or more, less than a 10% utilization rate for the best results, and a debt to income ratio below 30%. To learn how to apply for the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, definitely hit the link below. Now, you should know if the business has already been established, then the primary account holder of the business credit card will likely need these two things to qualify. They'll need an ownership stake. Many banks require that a person applying for a business credit card have a significant stake in the company. While 20% is a common benchmark, this can really vary. Some banks might have higher or lower requirements, and some might allow individuals with a smaller ownership percentage to apply if they hold a key position in the company. And that brings me to point number two, you wanna have a high position. The individual applying for the credit card needs to be an officer or an authorized representative of the business. This might include positions like CEO, president, treasurer, or any role that entails financial responsibility. And that role needs to be stated on the articles of organization for the business. So most business credit cards approve people based on their personal credit worthiness and could really care less about tracking how your actual business is performing. That makes it hard for anyone with bad credit, but a great business to get approved for funding. But one card I found called the Revenue Business Credit Card accepts people with low and fair personal credit because they focus their underwriting on business revenue, not personal credit. Since business revenue tends to be a lot higher than personal income, the revenue card's credit limit goes up to $100,000, which is way more than the twenty-five dollars to $50,000 you'll find on most other business cards. When you spend $5,000 within the first three months, you're earning a $500 intro bonus too. And every time you swipe or tap the card, you're earning 3% cash back on every purchase. No need to remember categories or worry about hitting spending limits. There's no restrictions. You can send your cash back rewards to your connected business bank account as well. There's no annual fees. And while it operates like a credit card, it's technically a merchant cash advance. This means instead of a fixed loan amount, you'll get a lump sum that's paid back through a percentage of your future sales. There's no grace period, so every purchase will incur some amount of interest. And the revenue card has an extra feature that lets you turn your credit into cash instantly. It's called a flex line. So let's say you have to pay a vendor who doesn't accept credit cards. You can just use your flex line because it gives you access to liquid cash and transfers the money into your business bank account to pay for whatever business expense that pops up. To get approved for the revenue business card, your business needs to be official. We're talking about registering it in the US and not just flying solo as a sole proprietor. They wanna see that you've been in the game for at least six months as a fully formed business like an LLC. You need a business bank account with less than three days in the negative per month. Your business must generate at least $10,000 in monthly revenue, not profit, just revenue, and you must maintain a daily balance of $1,000. And this is one of the rare cars that never affects your personal credit. It's strictly a soft credit pull from start to finish. And that's really unlike the Chase business cards, which trigger a hard credit pull when you first apply. Now, large banks are notorious for being difficult to borrow money from when you have bad personal credit and your business doesn't have like a decade of history. But thankfully, these days we have options. You can get your business funded up to $5 million with no minimum FICO score and bad credit by using a business funding broker like Rock Financial. Their number one focus is underwriting your business. 
Now, just a few months ago, one of my audience members got their business funded with a $180,000 loan. What Rock Financial does is they take your business goals along with your real financials and performance of your business and present all of that in the form of a funding deal. That funding deal is prepared specifically to look desirable to lenders. Then they pitch your deal to one or more of their lending partners. They know exactly what narratives that they need to spin to make your business look in their best light. Instead of being fixated on your personal credit like traditional banks are, Rock Financial is absolutely obsessed with how well your business is running. And here's a list of every type of loan product that they offer. They offer small business loans, business lines of credit, equipment financing, SBA loans, accounts receivable financing, merchant cash advances, asset-based loans, franchise financing, fix and flip loans, and startup loans. You can get same-day funding from $10,000 up to $5 million when everything lines up right with terms of six months to 10 years. To qualify for most of their funding options, you'll need to have more than six months in business, monthly gross sales of $5,000 or $60,000 annually, and preferably over a 600 FICO score. But listen, if your business is absolutely crushing it, then you can outshine some of these requirements. Also, I found a few ways to increase your chances of approval if your business is lacking in one of these areas. One way is to show higher taxable income from the previous year on your tax return. Lenders always look at your income as a primary indicator of your ability to repay loans. By showing more income on your tax return, you're effectively demonstrating a higher earning and repaying capacity. This can make you appear more credit worthy in the eyes of lenders despite having bad personal credit. By not reducing your tax liability, which means claiming fewer deductions, your business is more likely to show stable and improving income year over year. Lenders love to see income graphs on an upward trend. And another way is in the months leading up to applying for the loan, you could hold more cash in your business bank account. Having a substantial amount of cash on hand can significantly improve your chances of securing business credit, particularly when personal credit isn't at its best. Firstly, it demonstrates financial stability. Lenders really like to ensure that their potential borrowers can manage their current financial obligations comfortably. And having cash available is good if the credit you're seeking requires a down payment. Some lending arrangements might ask for a significant upfront payment or physical assets to secure the loan. With enough cash in the business, you can meet these requirements without risking your day-to-day -day operations. So you can access a wider range of credit options that might otherwise be out of your reach. And my favorite simple way to increase your business credit approval odds is by giving a truly compelling reason for taking out the loan in the first place. Always highlight the potential for increased revenue. That's really the key. If you can explain how the loan will help your business generate more income, then lenders are likely to see the loan as a good investment. They wanna know that the funds they give you will help create a more profitable business, which in turn improves your ability to repay them. And here's a few ways that you could frame your reasons for wanting the money. You could say expansion. You can explain how the loan will help you expand your operations, reach new customers, or enter new markets. And be specific about the anticipated return on investment. Do the math for them. You really wanna paint the picture. You can say equipment purchases as well. If the loan is for buying new equipment or a vehicle, detail how that investment will increase efficiency, reduce costs, or expand your production capacity. You could go with working capital. Demonstrate how the loan will help you cover operational expenses during slow periods allowing you to continue smooth operations and prepare for future growth. You could even mention technology upgrades, explain how investing in the latest tech will give your business a competitive edge, whether it's new software to streamline operations, a sophisticated point of sale system for retail or advanced manufacturing tech. Show how these upgrades will contribute to increased productivity and profitability. You could also say marketing and advertising. Detail your plans for a new marketing campaign that the loan will fund. Discuss how this investment will increase your brand's visibility, attract new customers, and ultimately lead to a higher revenue stream. And be specific about the channels you'll use and the expected outcomes. You could even use the money for training and development. Discuss how investing in employee training and development will enhance your business's efficiency and service quality. Explain that better trained employees can lead to higher customer satisfaction and increased sales. 
and just hit the link below and fill out that 15 second application with Rock Financial to get options in just a few minutes and funding in as little as a few hours. And I actually interviewed the vice president of business development for Rock Financial and he broke down step by step how to qualify for funding with them. And he told me how a construction business got approved for $1.75 million in funding in just two days. Check that video out next and thank you for watching.